out here in beautiful North Dakota and uh, we're gonna go prairie dog hunting today aren't we we are it's uh, first day after a 10 or 12 hour drive yesterday out here so uh, yeah hopefully you can hear those prairie dogs in the background here so uh, I think the weather's gonna be good and uh, hopefully the wind light and uh, the shoot straight yeah well you know that craft beer we had last night sure doesn't help us uh, shooting straight, does it? It does not. It's kind of a rough morning. <laughs> kind of a rough morning. Well, we we hope to provide you guys some exciting footage. Uh, it's my first time prairie dog hunting, and this is Joel's second, and uh, it's our first, both with uh, my wife's cousin, Steve. So you're going to see some beautiful country and uh, hopefully some dead dead prairie dogs. Stay with us. Your win, go. Dad. Oh, oh, no, he's running. I see him. I'm watching. He'll pop back up. There he is. There he's running left. Stop. Still there. They win. You ready? Yep. South Dakota, or no, North, North Dakota. Dakota. Mountain time to be specific. Yeah, Self Fridge, North Dakota, I think is the closest town, which is All Gravel Main Street, right? Yeah. Right off the highway. We're and we're prairie dog hunting. Yeah, we're out prairie dog hunting, and I don't know if you can hear in the background, but you can hear, hear quite a few chirping or barking dogs right now. Let's just pause, see if they can catch it. barking at us yep but we're out here um, you know let's talk about equipment to go prairie dog hunting so what what do you think some of the uh, essential well, equipment sunscreen it's hot sure. it's hot uh, you know one of the things we saw was somebody wearing that fish netting but it's not fish netting, but that fishing you know UV block you put over your face that that I think is a good solution obviously uh, a reliable rifle Yep. 
Yeah, and uh, we're shooting with some folks that uh, are shooting 22 longs and 17 HMRs. We shoot 223s, um, but really, you know, anything that uh, you shoot comfortable in well. Um, you know, some pads, you know, some people want to have pads to like lay on because we, we've been shooting a lot in a prone. Definitely want to have a, a bipod for your, uh, for your rifle so that you have a stable, a stable platform. Uh, what else? Maybe a mat to lay on um, and ear protection. Yeah, definitely ear protection. Definitely ear protection. Uh, sunglasses, we're not wearing sunglasses now, but it's bright and, uh, um, and plenty of water to drink. Binoculars, I think uh, we brought a spotting scope, but I think binoc a good pair of binoculars um, is, is fundamental. I think uh, one of the things that I think Joel and I have been doing is spotting for each other, and I think uh, that's just as much fun as, as shooting, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy that myself as far as, uh, you know, trying to find a dog and then when you find a dog communicating where the hell it's at and that's a challenge by itself because there's not a lot of reference points and then then pulling off the shot so plenty of ammo I think uh, we brought we brought a thousand well probably closer to 1400 rounds we're probably gonna end up shooting between us 500 rounds probably. Um, the wind was really bad when we got here so not great for prairie dog hunting because the prairie dogs don't like the wind evidently and they, they stay down in their in their holes but today has been really good. yeah and i think with the wind on uh tuesday you know we were you know a hundred yard shot you were taking six inches of windage with it you know 200 yards you were it was a it was just a chance at 200 yards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just nuts. The 29, 29 mile an hour winds. So, but uh, yeah, I hope you appreciate the episode. If you get a chance to come out here, it's beautiful country. We saw antelope and buffalo and uh, obviously prairie dogs, coyote this morning. Uh, you're going to see all kinds of different terrain that you would see in uh, Iowa and the Midwest. Yeah, it's super beautiful. Thanks for watching and listening. And be safe, have fun. And get outdoors. Iowa Missouri Hybrids has been a family owned business since the 1930s. Located in historic Kiyosakwa, Iowa, Aaron and his team are a one stop shop for farmers, hunters, and landowners. For your conservation program, CRP, food plots, and all planting needs, give Aaron at IMH a call and tell him the two dumbasses sent you. Established in 1934, Pete and Shorty's is located on Main Street, Clarksville, Iowa. Pete and Shorty's is famous for their half-pound burgers, hand-breaded tenderloins, and homemade pizza. The beer is always cold, and the Bloody Marys are the best in town. Stop in and tell Mike and Amy that the two dumbasses sent you. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.